Sarah, I, I am the proud owner of Cloth of Gold. It established in 1987. And for those of you who are good at quick maths, I am not old enough for that. However, I am its fourth owner in its little history. And I got this dream when I finished my fashion degree about 10 years ago to own a fabric shop. Well, here I am now, the proud owner of a fabric and wool shop. And I am very excited to see my online shop, my bricks and mortar and my social media presence growing steadily. So here, welcome to my how-to videos for knitting, crocheting and sewing. Hi everyone and welcome to the video about casting on using the standard method. I have here a nice ball of Big Value Chunky with 6mm knitting needles and they are the perfect pairing. Should you want to find out more about yarn versus knitting needle ratios please check out the relevant video. Now to get started we need to find the tail of the yarn. So we've got grab the tail here and we're going to make what's called a slip knot. So we're just going to lie it out here for process. So we're just going to tuck that yarn over to make like a loop there with a little tail. We're going to pull it back across over that working yarn and just pull it through. So now we've got what's called a slip knot. Now you don't need such a big tail as I've created, but as I've done it on camera, it's quite a large tail and we're just going to leave it. We're going to use that working yarn and just pull that stitch nice and tightly on that needle. We're going to put this needle now into our left hand using the right needle we're going to push it through that stitch that we've just created on that needle underneath now the best tip is to not grab that tail we need to grab the yarn that's attached to the ball you can see here so we're going to loop that one onto the right hand needle using that right hand we're going to loop it on loop it on like that then we're going to tuck it under and pull it through like so there we are, and we're just going to use that pulling on that working yarn to tighten it back up. We're going to go back through that next stitch we've created, so the second one onto the needle, nearest the end point. We're going to tuck it underneath like we did before, stab it through, loop it round, pull it through and pull up. And pull nice and tight again on the needle. And we're going to do it again. So underneath that needle, loop it round, pull it through pull up high, loop it onto the needle and pull tight. So now you can see we've got four stitches. So we've got one, two, three, four, four stitches. So your pattern might say cast on 20 stitches. So cast on 20 of those stitches. Your pattern might say count 120. Cast on as many of those little stitches as you need. And it's the same process all the way to the end. Happy knitting.